Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Currently, we're in the Winking Skiba. It's a quarter to eight in the morning. Claudius has rested, he's eaten, he's drunk. And he's about to leave. Get back on the carriage. All the way back to Whiterun. Where we are, I as I recall, to deliver a message to the Jarl of Whiterun himself. We've only briefly spoken to in the past. And it wasn't a very interesting conversation. So. Wow. Is it just me or does everything look really bright and colourful? Particularly right now. Sheesh. I like it. It's good. It's nice. Anyway. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Let me just double check the old quest journal. I'm to deliver a message to the Jarl of Whiterun. It is time for him to pick a side in the war. Deliver a message to the Jarl of Whiterun. Yes, the Jarl of Whiterun. Uh, some people actually um, were... Oh, look. It's my Gladius. Hmm. It, some people were actually kind of complaining a bit that Claudius was too insensitive about an impending dragon attack, I believe they, they said, on Whiterun. And... Since I've got nothing better to talk about right now, why don't I address that? Um, see, here's the thing: when Claudius like originally crawled out of Riverwood and made his way to Whiterun, and had just finished dealing with those bandits, he certainly was not in a particularly good mood. You know what? I should sell some things. Anyway, he was not in a particularly good mood, and uh, I think he couldn't really—he wasn't really prepared to put up with whatever you know whatever argument was going on at the time and he just decided he what his presence wasn't required he had reported the dragon sighting and therefore he was really of no further use actually so they were all talking about themselves the dialogue actually ended you know Balgraf wasn't actually talking to him anymore so that's why he decided to just bugger off you know and as for was he being insensitive I really don't think so well maybe he was being a little insensitive but the thing is he wasn't really, it's not his problem, it, well, you know, it's not his problem at all, it's the Earl of Whiterun's problem to deal with a potential dragon flying around in his hold, you know, and uh, it's not something Claudius has to deal with, so why should he really be concerned about it, it's not as if he lives in Whiterun, and well, yeah, he, uh, he just didn't have the patience, and uh, at the end of the day, plus the, you know, the Earl of Whiterun, Balgruf. As much as I personally, as a player, love Balgruf. Claudius doesn't like Balgruf very much because Balgruf hasn't declared to join the Empire in the Civil War. He was he's remaining quote unquote neutral, and therefore his loyalty is suspect as far as it, Claudius is concerned. So therefore, he has no reason to like Balgruf in the slightest. So if a dragon were to come fly over and burn down his hold, Claudius kind of almost feels like it would serve him right for not having a legion garrison present at the place that could have maybe helped fight the dragon off in the first place. So, anyway, I felt like addressing that because it, it got on my nerves a bit. That did. Anyway, so, Madran. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve? You could buy all my Hello. junk because I've got plenty. Whew, okay, now I want to keep those. Let's sort by value, shall we? Flawless diamond. Wow. Yeah. See, that thing was worth a thousand in the barrow. But it's worth two hundred thirty-four here, just because the prices are so damn punitive because of Skyrim. A lot of people have been complaining that I've not been picking up loot that's potentially worth a fair bit of money, but the thing is, a lot of stuff, especially if it's worth like about 50 gold or something like that, in vanilla Skyrim, yeah, that'd fetch me a fair amount of money, but in Skyrim, that thing would barely get me about 10 gold or something like that, so there's just no point. Ebony Dragon Claw, well, we don't need that anymore. Emerald, yay, Speedcraft! Uh, Bear Claw Cloak. I don't need that actually either, I've already got this one. Uh, I mean, that stand I will keep. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'll cut this out. I'm just selling all bad, ordinary rubbish junk. If there's anything important, I'll mention it. Well, that was pretty much it actually, because they ran out of gold. There's some of the more astute among you may have noticed at the bottom right there. So I couldn't sell anything else to him. Anyway, we've how are we doing the gold? 3,215, that's pretty good really. Much better than when we initially started out. I'm not sure where it's all come from. I think it's just me selling rubbish that I picked up along the way, really. Alright, hello again, Fair. 
Where do you want to go? Back to White Run again, I'm afraid. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Good. You ready to go yet? Crossbows inherently ignore 50% armor. The perk focus enhances that number by 10% per rank, up to a full armor penetration. Wow. That's mighty fine. Right, here we are, outside White Run once again. This time we're going straight into White Run instead of walking off around it. Oh, man, I love this sword. I really do. It's so good. The Gladius, interestingly, is a very cleverly is a very, very cleverly designed sword, actually. You know, most people think of it as a stabbing weapon, pure and simple. Uh, because you know, because that's what the Roman legionaries generally tended to use it for, but uh, not so. It's actually quite a good slashing weapon. You see, because it's not very visible here from this angle, but the blade at the top is actually wider than it is in the middle, and the reason for that is, is it gives the blade more weight at the end, which actually makes the sideways swipes like this gives them more force and momentum. It's, it's the same principle that makes an axe so deadly. Uh, it's very cleverly designed. I think the Romans actually pinched the idea from the Spanish, actually. Um, or sorry, the Iberians, as they're technically referred to, which are the ancient kind of tribes that lived in Spain. So, but yeah. It's a very cleverly designed sword. One of the reasons I like it. Sadly, I'll have to replace it soon enough, I imagine. Uh, just because its damage output is a little less than desirable, but... Uh, I do like it, so I'm going to be using it for as long as possible. Plus, I like the fact that it attacks slightly quicker than a broadsword does, so that's nice, I guess. Now then, oh, does she have some steel ingots? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that. Um, Man, steel is a legend. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything. Elven helmet. Wow, else. already. Nice with the new textures. Ooh. That's a Midian born Book of Silence, that texture pack right there in action, in case you didn't realise already. It is listed in the description. Anyway, ingot steel! Two steel ingots. That's less than I was hoping for, but it'll do, I guess. And. Right, okay, what should I improve? The weapon or the armour? Definitely the weapon. Excuse me. I normally cut out my crafting stuff, actually, but uh, let's do it now, nice and quickly. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Oh, can I not craft steel? Really? I lack the required perks. That's very annoying. All right, well, I know what we'll be picking next time we level up. <laughs> oh, that would have been the 38, that would. Never mind. What about my armor? It's probably the same, isn't it? Yep. I can improve the Stormcloak boots and fur armor. But nothing else. Should I? Maybe I should. Just, just for the little added. Does does crafting stuff like this actually increase your smithing though? I don't know. I always assume, I always assumed it did, but maybe it doesn't. Isn't I've never got a level up as a result of crafting something like that? You know, improving an item. That is to say. You know, or using the tanning rack for anything. So, the Yarl of Whiterun. The Yarl of Whiterun, who... Oh yeah, some other people were like, Oh no, he's not a petty king, when I called him a petty king. Actually, he is. I'm pretty sure... You know, I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure that the Yarl is a Nordic term for us, what is essentially a petty king. You know, um... You know, I know, I know certainly in English history we had earls which are basically an Anglo-Saxon version of Jarl. And the earls in the early days of English history were petty kings unto themselves. They ruled petty kingdoms like Wessex and uh, Northumbria. Not entirely different from Whiterun and Windhelm, for example. So that's why I call them a petty king. Plus, I think there's a couple of NPCs around here and there which call them kings. Yeah, I think it's one of the Imperials who says, The Nord Kings, sorry, Jarls. You probably remember it now I've said it. So I think they are considered kings, and the High King is called the High King because he's the king above kings. The king of the kings. So, anyway. Maybe I should take my helmet off. I don't much care for this 
for the Nordic nobility, but let's show a modicum of respect since we are here to actually convince him to help us and all. Oh, no, I don't know how this is going to go since I kind of walked up halfway through the last bit of dialogue I had with him. This should be interesting. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. I won't forget it. Wait, wait, Take what? This as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone it of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Is it just me or is this here a little bit tapped? Like, well, I appreciate his gratitude and all, I'm just surprised you recognize me. It's been a while. Well, it probably hasn't really, it's probably been only like a few days, I suppose, but it feels like longer. Alright then, I'll humor him for now. <laughs> I'll have to speak to him in a minute though. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your uh, dragon. Excuse me. I, Go ahead and fill him in I'm not a mercenary, I, you know. So I have a job. Can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Uh, just excuse me a second. Yes, I, d I need to. Well, when I say fetch, yeah, but I what? really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be. Uh, just, just right. Just you know hold on a second, I gentlemen. I. I'm just a messenger, damn it. Bring back this tablet that Faringar wants, and I'll be in your debt. That tablet is your priority now. Bring that back from Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about. Is this your way of saying you're not going to help me unless I get this, what is it, a tablet for you? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Yeah, what? Like the rest of what's the this? What's this task then exactly? Ah, indeed, the Yarrow. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yeah, you only just explained yes, it to I me, mate. Use someone to fetch something for right, me. Right. Okay. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Oh, just tell me what you need to do. You are eager to begin you need your to do. adventure. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? Yeah, precisely. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. <sighs> well, 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 tell me about this Bleak Falls Barrow then. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Oh, another tomb. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. Yeah, that would help. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm familiar I'm with sure it, yes. I'm sure some locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you even know this stone tablet is in the Barrow, anyway? Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, must we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Well, not interested in history lessons, so... With you. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. You're sure this is a big as, as big a threat as you make it out to be? I mean, we've not seen this dragon for what must be over a week now. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Oh really? Hmm. Okay, I can see the value in that. Anyway, I just look. Watch over your battles, yes, right now that's all out of the way. I came here with a message from General Tullius. That's why I'm here. No doubt, requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it. Wolfric plans to attack Whiterun. The general wants to lend legion troops to defend your city. Until that dragon's dealt with. I don't care what Tullius wants. For now, give the papers to my steward. 
I was given strict instructions. It's for your eyes only. Don't be daft. Robentus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Now, I believe you have some business to conclude with my court wizard. <sighs> Look, have you... What is it that the, you need? Yeah, a, about that message. Have we you looked at it yet? about that once this dragon is dealt with. <sighs> Fortune pisses on me. To coin a phrase. Have you got any wise words for me, Preventus? I serve Jarl Balgra as steward. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Mm, it's just a barrel of laughs, Preventus. It really is. Well. So. The Jarl has cunningly, I might add, uh, that's that's to be respected, I suppose, cunningly press ganged me into helping him deal with his dragon problem before he actually decides to do anything about this message from the general. <sighs> Claudius is... Uh, part, part of Claudius think realises that he's going to look back at this later and laugh about it, but right now he's pretty irritated. But what choice does he have? He can't exactly go back to the general and say, well... Yeah, he asked me to help him, but uh, there wasn't part of my orders, so I didn't... You know... I didn't do anything. Because the general's probably just going to laugh in my face if I say that. <sighs> he recruited me because he said I was, what, you know, a bit more useful than the average... Legionary? For whatever reason. So I guess I need to show a bit of initiative. Oh, damn and blast them all. Damn and blast them all to hell. So what, I'm going to Riverwood now? Looks that way. Oh, shut up. <sighs> At least I feel completely warm, apparently. That's uh, thank you heavens for small mercies, right? Oh, you know what? Let's visit Bellathor while we're here. Sell some extra junk. Because I've got plenty still left over from Corvin Jund. Right, okay. Sold the rest of my useless junk, including... The steel armor which the Jarl just gave me as a reward. Seems a bit of an impractical reward, but I guess he just chucked in my hands whatever he had nearby. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I sold that. I sold a few other bits of useless obsolete armor and weapons like my old Nordic steel broadsword thing. So there we go. That's basically all that stuff. Nothing interesting, basically. Nothing interesting at all. I didn't buy anything either. I feel tired. I feel what? Why do I feel tired? I'm peckish. Slightly thirsty and tired, apparently. Oh yeah. Well. Hmm. Someone asked me actually. Um. A bit random, really. But someone asked me if I could fill up my bottle at the fountainy bit outside Dragon's Reach. I have no idea. But now seems like a perfect time to. To try that out. It was either could I fill my bottle there or could I drink from it? Either way. Let's go check. Right. Um, do I ha even have any empty bottles I can fill? Probably not, actually. Boiled water. Two servings, three servings, water. No, oh, thirst has been quenched. I can't remember what the hotkey is actually now I think about it for drinking from the stream and stuff. Hang on. Let me check. Uh, basic needs. Drink from stream. Ah, it's H. Right. Yep, hurry up. Drinky drink, come on. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I've contracted bone break fever. Ugh. Apparently that's not safe to drink from. Funnily enough, the reason it's not safe to drink from is because I think there's actually a skeleton. 
<laughs> underneath that bridge under the water for those that don't know um, someone apparently drowned in there at some one point or another and they, he was forgotten about an amusing detail anyway actually I better go to the temple now get that disease cured Ugh. There is a basically there's a percentage chance, in case you didn't know, of contracting a illness of some kind from drinking uh, water that hasn't been boiled, basically. Um, so there we go. Right, we also got a blessing of Kinnereth. No idea what that is or what it does, but never mind. It's not an issue. Well, I guess I answered your question anyway. Right, onwards we go to Riverwood and Bleak Falls Barrow, which I have a sneaking suspicion is the barrow that I spotted right back when I first made my way out of Helgen. Wonderful. This should be just so much fun. You, um, Claudius knows a bit more about Draugr now, though, uh, because when I was at the Winking Skeever, resting in my room. I actually read the book on the shelf called, um, what was it? Something like Li Among the Draugr. Quite a fascinating little read actually that. It was about a mage from the College of Winterhold who basically lived in a barrow for a while and eventually the Draugr became, did, stopped being hostile towards her and she basically got to observe what they do day in day out inside the barrow and it was actually kind of fascinating. Like apparently, for those that don't know, for anyone who does know, is going to be like yawning now, like, yeah, I know, get on with it. But apparently, the Draugr actually, they go around and they quite literally tidy up and clean the barrow and the, you know, the ceremonial chambers and stuff where the dragon priest is interred. Um, the whole reason they're even there in the first place is because the dragon priests, kind of like the Egyptian pharaohs, actually, they insisted on having all their servants buried with them. Except, unlike the Egyptian pharaohs, those servants were undead. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. Seems pretty abhorrent to someone like Claudius, of course, but uh, fascinating nonetheless. It's going to be interesting trying to deal with an entire barrow full of the damn things without... Hang on a minute. Excuse me, I, uh, I... Why are these here? Is this left over from when I had upgraded weapons and armor installed? I hope it is, because otherwise I have another bug that's making armor lie around everywhere. <sighs> Which would not be good, needless to say. Yes, yeah, still moving pretty slow, unfortunately. Some people did say I could use a console to command to get rid of the slow effect from wearing heavy armor, and uh, sorry, but I'm not going to. Because uh, that kind of defeats the point of having Sky reinstalled. You're just going to disable whole bits of it. Anyway, hello. Mike wishes you well. Good. Snow falls. Why worry where it goes? Mike thinks the snowflakes are pretty. Skyrim was once the land of many butterflies. Now, not so much. <laughs> Is that a reference to the fact that there are only two types of butterfly in the game? Much snow in Skyrim. Enough snow. Egg does not want any more. I don't believe that's a reference to the complaints Bethesda received that Skyrim was not completely covered in snow. Um, I believe most of most of my stuff is like witty responses by Bethesda to some of the complaints their fans make about their games. <laughs> um, so there you go. He's been in every game, I think, so far. Well, you know, since Morrowind, anyway. I don't believe he was in Daggerfall. Um, although I have to admit, his, his dialogue was a lot funnier in Morrowind than it was in Oblivion in Skyrim. Hello, who are you? Did I just hear wolves? I don't see any wolves, so... It's a fine-looking sword you've got there. Hello there, fellow traveller. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. What are you doing out here? Why, to perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns be given the gift of music? Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's a noble endeavor, Talskar. Fair enough. Just uh, don't get killed by wolves. 
I have enough trouble with them myself. Look at me, look at me, I'm decked out in the best armor the Legion can afford. Now then. Bleak Falls Barrow. It's up there, isn't it? Yeah, I can just see it poking around over the side there. So what, do we go this way? Looks like we go this way. Wayfarer increased... Ooh, so close to leveling. So close. I want to get that steel smithing perk. I kind of thought I already had it, actually, but apparently not, you know, so... Oh, hello. Damn it, I just want to block when I press the button game, not after I press the button. <laughs> <sighs> Give me your pelt. Thank you. Also, oh, I should favorite this before I forget, actually. I have the Imperial Shortbow now. Uh, which is good because it's good for me hunting elk and deer. It's pretty much what all I've got it for. It's, when it comes to actual combat, I'm going to stick to the crossbow. Um... Maybe I should hotkey it to something. Probably four, yes. And torches can be five. Good. Ooh, I like this track of me that's playing right now. I really do. It's one of my favourite bits of the Skyrim soundtrack. I don't know if I've mentioned, and I feel a bit silly talking over it right now, but... I think it's gone anyway now, but anyway. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever mentioned really just how much I adore Skyrim's soundtrack. I think it's really, really, really good. See, the problem with a lot of Jeremy Saul's music is that it tends to sound very, very similar to, well, basically all his other music. But Skyrim, on the other hand, it seems to feel pretty unique for the most part. I mean, there's one or two tracks in it that feel a bit, well, shall we self say familiar? <laughs> but, uh... For the most part, it's pretty original and new, and I, I like it a lot. Alright, what do we have here? I remember first hearing a lot of the Skyrim soundtrack music, actually. Uh, you know what? Bone chilling! Yeah, the air is bone chilling. That's, ooh, that's not good. Let's get that on straight away. Uh, I remember hearing some of the Skyrim music very at the first. Uh, first on the Bethesda podcast actually about Skyrim while they were still making it and I just thought it was brilliant what's the deal here are you gonna Over here. yeah I thought so <laughs> why is my shield not working <laughs> excellent health stamina health stamina health and where is it? Smithing! Aha! Oh. Right, can I not? Principles of Smith... Which one is the one that gives me steel? Ah, right. Okay, craft and temper with steel. I re Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to hold on to that until this perk, until I manage to get a smithing skill increase. Right, okay. Bandit outlaw. Right, yeah, you look a bit tough. You know what, for the first time in this damn let's play, I feel like that fight went really well. This one, just this one-on-one -on -one duel I had here with this bandit outlaw. We have the whole shield bashing thing going on, and yeah, it worked really well. Although, you know what, this has just reminded me of something. I feel a bit... Where is the... Yeah, here it is. I feel a bit like the field of view is still a bit too low. I've upped it from the default, but I still feel it's a bit too narrow, especially when it comes to a combat like this. So... Right, you have to hit tab to do that. Right, okay, so now I have a little bit more field of view when it comes to up close and personal combat like this. Which I think helps, because I get very easily confused actually when the field of view isn't wide enough. Anyway. Third era steel broadsword. Damage 43. That's, oof, that's pretty good, you know. Wait 10. Yep, yeah, I'll have it. Thank you very much. What was the perk, by the way? What was the perk for... No. Uh, what was the perk for short swords that you can get? 
Hornet Sting, Tanto, Wakasashi's Ziphos. Short sword. Yeah, the Ziphos is another type of short sword, uh, predating the gladiators. It's a Greek weapon. Anyway, so yeah, short sword power attacks can stagger the enemies are 10% stronger. While wielding a shield, the bonus is doubled. Wow, that suits me perfectly, actually, that does. It's clearly designed for the legionary in mind, that uh, perk there, I think. Right. Anyone else? Apparently not. Barrels. I need to check the... Oh, an empty bottle. Thank you. Um, <laughs> empty bottle, as if that's worth anything. Uh, I need to check these from time to time, actually, because I think you might be able to find rolls of paper in them. And uh, I need that to make a water skin with. Ah Silver ingot. Oh, fair enough. Stamina and gold. Yes. I approve... Oh, it's a, it's a hawk. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what that shadow was. So I was thinking, have I got a really weird shadow bug? No, it's just a hawk. Anyway. Let's keep pushing ahead into the snow. I wonder what my natural resistance is at the minute. Where's the button? There it is. View status. Frost resistance fifteen percent, exposure resistance eighteen percent. Rank cave bear. Nice. Oh that's well, is that is that in total with all my gear on? Tents, yep. Mm-hmm. Your adaptation to scavenge climate is currently below average. Adaptation happens naturally over time. You will gain plus one percent exposure resistance every fifteen levels. Sorry, after over every five levels. Up to level fifty. Okay, so probably only like 2% resistance right now. Naturally, anyway. Not counting all our gear. Is this technically weather, or is this just... with normal snow blowy effects? I think it is. We're not technically in a blizzard right now. Holy balls, that's impressive. Look at it. It's magnificently huge. It's almost like they're compensating for something. You were saying? Aha! Uh, -huh. uh oh. Okay. Now things are going to get awkward. People have been telling me I should block when arrows are being fired at me and you're probably right actually. Does it really work? Yeah, it does reduce a bit of damage. That's pretty cool, actually. Glad for the heads up on that. I didn't think you could block them until you had a certain perk, actually. I'm liking the way that I'm doing this, by the way. It might annoy some people, I don't know, but... That's valuable. I'm taking it. Uh... Have those as well. I like the little approach I've got here with the whole fire crossbow, draw shield, sword and shield, attack kind of thing I'm doing here at the minute. It feels very organized. It feels precisely what a legionary character like Claudius would do in that kind of situation. He would be drilled and trained to have a specific response to that kind of a situation, which in his case is blam, draw sword, close in attack. You know course it changes depending on the situation but you know I think it works anyway these are bloody great doors aren't they will they open I feel chilly yeah let's get inside <laughs> bleak falls barrow I've done bleak falls barrow I don't know how many times but I still enjoy it Eight steel bolts. This is not good. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, over here, gentlemen. Oh, that was satisfyingly executed, if I do say so myself. Thank you for that, and that, and ooh, and that. Very nice. Oh, locked. Damn. There we go. Novice I can just about deal with. Iron great sword. Nope. Are those are that are that though. What do you have for me? Nothing much. Can I pick up the no I can't pick up this firewood, can I? No. Sadly. You feel comfortable. Oh yeah, let's warm up a little bit, why not? He does look a bit weird the way he stands with a shield like that, but uh, whatever. I guess I like being able to look at the shield, mind you. It looks kind of cool like that. You feel warm. It's a neat little pose, I suppose. Good for screenshots, isn't it? Look, in fact. Oh damn, he moved just as I was taking it. That's annoying. <sighs> Claudius, what is it? Why can't you take a good photo? It's terrible. Anyway, we don't need this anymore. Just restrict our movement in combat. I suppose the backpack would as well, but you know, since we're far from home and all that, we might as well keep it on because it's got all our stuff in, you know. Thank you. Yeah, I bet people are annoyed at me for not pressing the take all button. And you know what? I'm annoyed at myself for not remembering to press the take all button, so fair. Also. There we go. Almost forgot. Suddenly realised it might be a bit dark in here. I mean, it's alright for me at my end, but YouTube has an annoying habit of making videos much darker than they actually are. Although, once we get into combat, I'm switching right back to the shield. Although, I know you can set guys on fire with this thing, but the, the actual damage it does is really tiny. Okay, come here, you. I forgot to use the crossbow, but never mind. Not giving that, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, oh, right, yes, another Nord quote unquote puzzle. Ugh. The ancient Nords, they weren't. Weren't a terribly cunning lot, were they, really? I mean, they were. I mean, in some ways. I mean, that swinging axe trap we saw in Corvindjund was magnificently constructed, but... <sighs> these puzzles leave a lot to be desired, don't they? Let's see. Snake, snake, dolphin. Or... You know what? It's not a dolphin, is it? It's a whale. I don't know. I have, Initially, when I first started playing this game, I always thought that was a dolphin, and then it occurred to me, there are no dolphins in Skyrim. It's way too cold for dolphins, so... It's surely got to be some sort of whale. And that then got me thinking. There we go. That, that then got me thinking. Why don't someone make a mod for... Well, make a mod that adds whales to the Sea of Ghosts. North, you know, off the northern coast of Skyrim. Just, like, you know, like beluga whales or killer whales or something. Just really far out, just swimming around. That'd be pretty neat, I think. Because I bet the Nords would hunt them, you know with harpoons and stuff to get their whale oil you know you could even add whale oil and stuff like that to to the game as a whoa get out of here shoo anyway could, yeah like I was saying you could add whale oil to the game as a like, like a uh, thief yeah um, as a, 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 you know, like a commodity or whatnot. You could have whale soup as a food type. What are you doing? Come back here. Whew. Just keep these skills. No. Okay, what else is down here? Another skeever. Behold the mighty guardians of the barrow. Look upon them and despair, traveller. Let's 
Scroll of Fireball. Ooh. I don't think I'll be using scrolls in this Let's Play. I don't think Claudius would know how to read them properly. to be someone down here with us and in trouble by the sounds of it yes yeah well as I recall in Morrowind you could actually read the scrolls and they were always written in Daedric as well so assuming that's the same case here even though I can't literally reopen the scroll and have a look at it uh, okay don't think Claudius would be able to read it Oof! nasty poison Ugh. Die! You're not the one I'm worried about! Oh, I can't move now because it's taking so much stamina off me. Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh, oh. Die! Oh. No bolts. Oh dear. So we're going to have to finish it off the old fashioned style. Here we go. Come here, you. Oof, that very nearly was my end. Whew. Thank you for the steel bolt. The one steel bolt. Oh, moving so slowly. You, over here. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? The claw. What, what am I, why why am I asking works. about the golden claw? The marbles, what? The oh, never mind. The stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power of the north. Clicked on that without thinking about it because I've done this so many times before. Uh Wait, did one of the bandits mention the claw at the entrance? They might have done. Uh anyway. Uh, whatever. You know what, why shouldn't I just kill you though? You're a filthy bandit, I should be killing you. So why don't I kill you and take the claw? That seems like a sound plan. Yeah. Nice try, mate. Right, journal. Golden claw, right, okay. Anyway. My finger... Hello. The font's changed. Is that normal? Is that... Oh, okay, right. You see, okay, so the mod I installed, it actually changes the diff font depending on who wrote the damn thing. That's kind of cool, actually. I approve of that. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Lucan Valerius, has no idea that his favourite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get the Hall of Sto get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. And the legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away. Yeah, I know about that particular test. Yeah, but when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Yeah, oh, they are very low standards, really. If they, if its purpose is to keep the unworthy away. Quite frankly. Okay, I'm on guard for Draugr right now because that's exactly what we encountered in Corvenjund when we got further in. So Claudius is very, very wary now of what might be lurking around the next corner. Since there don't appear to be any more bandits. He's not sure what to expect from here on in. Some strange stuff happened in Corvin Jund, and this probably will be a no exception to the rule that barrows are pretty crazy. Uh, yes, no exception at all. Right, come here then. Okay, next one. Next! Ooh, that was perfect. Very, very Roman. Shield bash, stab. I do like that. I do like that very much. It's just the way Claudius fights, you know. So it's it's nice to see they're reflected a bit, actually, in these little kill cams and stuff. 
And I like the way you can, there's the, I like the, the variety that the melee combat in Skyrim actually has, for that matter, actually. I think the addition of dual wielding and all that kind of thing, it's it's really cool. And Skyrim just expands on that even better. Right, this might be a little bit more. Whoa, yeah, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. Okay, one down. Okay, 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 now we're in a bit... Well, we're in a spot, mother. Alright, okay, okay, get back, get back, you little... Okay, okay, last one. Ooh, dear. That was close. Uh oh. Oh dear. Arrow, an ancient old arrow, ancient old short bow. Uh, oh god, I'm moving so slowly. Am I even going to be able to get through this axe trap? Is there anything back here? Aha! I saw the steps and I thought maybe. Oh dear, Brentness. Okay, okay. Uh, I was about to say this shouldn't be too difficult, but. Alas, I was wrong. So close, so close. Oh, no! Okay, pay attention to where the lockpick is on the lock. Okay, that wasn't... Oh, so close. I feel like it's trolling me right now. Don't worry, people, we'll get there in the end. Eventually, no, well, eventually I'll, 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 I'll install the lockpicking overhaul, which is one I believe everyone suggested when I asked about it, actually. Finally put that video up, finally got the comments through for it, and everyone seems to be suggesting, I think it's called lockpicking overhaul. And there are a couple of other mods suggested, but that seems to be the dominant one. That's probably the one I'm going to go with. Um. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ow! 